Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to be talking about layer blend modes in Photoshop. Theme tune. Do 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 do. Layer blend modes. I'm blending. I'm blending. I'm blending into the light. I'm blending into the wall. Okay, that was me blending into things not very well. So, layer blend modes. What are they? Well, essentially in Photoshop you build up a number of layers and essentially you put one on top of the other and it hides it so you can mask areas out but you can also use blend modes which is a way so essentially to see through one to the next one now you've got opacity which basically lets you see through it but blend modes is basically how colors and tones and everything interact with each other now Beckett the dog I think likes this one. So let's jump into Photoshop and have a look. Now this is part of my Photoshop training course, so be, be sure to watch everything else that I'm doing on this. So let's jump into Photoshop and this is the image we're going to use today. So I actually shot this photograph a few years ago of the amazing Rebecca Lyons. She's an awesome dancer and model. So what are blend modes? Well essentially they, they're down here and they sit inside here. So you must have more than one layer for this to work. Now what we're gonna look at today is a few different things, but we're gonna look at adding a texture. So I've created this texture just here, and we're gonna pop that on top. Now, with this texture, like so, you can see that you can't see the layer behind. I can unhide it, and you can see that that's in front of the layer. Now obviously I can go to opacity and pull that back to say, around 50 and now I can see 50% of this top layer and 50% of the bottom layer but that's just basically seeing through it that's all that is now what a layer blend modes allows me to do is actually manipulate this layer and allow light to interact with the layers below and they're basically broken up into sections so the first section here where it's the first one is darken basically it will make the image below darker so it takes the darker elements of this layer and it applies it to the one below the next one is lighten and basically what that does it takes the lighter areas of the image and then it applies that to it but there's a whole section with different modes here the next one is overlay section and this basically takes both the highlights and the shadows and it does really clever blending there and then the next section here is some pretty wacky stuff. It looks at the difference and you're gonna get some really crazy things here. I very rarely use anything down here. So, you know, have a little play around with them at least. Then the next one is hue, saturation, color, and luminosity. Essentially that really plays around with looking at the color on this layer and applying it to the one below. So this is black and white. So you can see it's applied the color to the one below the saturation, okay? So all those things is gonna affect that layer. This is black and white, so it's not gonna do that much. If it was a color layer, it would do a lot more different things. So let's come back up to normal and let's work through some of these options here. So one thing that you might want to, the best thing to do, sorry, is scroll through and have a play with them all. So you can hit dissolve see what that looks like. Then you can hit darken and see what that looks like. Now, you don't always have to come to this drop down. When you've got a layer selected, all you have to do is hit shift and plus or minus, and that allows you to scroll through all of these different um, layer blending modes. So you can see how all of this works. Now with this image, you can see that essentially the overlay section is working best because the darker ones are working, but they're a little bit too heavy. And obviously what's happening is we're actually, ruined, we're actually getting rid of the girl. So let's quickly show you how you can use this with masks. It's really simple. Uh, let's use the magic wand tool for this. Oh, it's because I've got the wrong layer selected. That's why that didn't go very long. Let's do tolerance 50 and let's select all of the blue. And let's keep adding on to this by using this one up here. And I'm not gonna do a particularly great job of this, but you know, that's will have done a pretty good job. So say that'll do, we'll go refine edge and we'll quickly go around the edge here. So it's gonna do a pretty good job of smart selecting here. Let me just um, increase my brush size here. Um, now I'm not gonna take very long, just bear with me though so that I can show you how powerful the layer blending mask is. Probably should have done this before this tutorial. But if you've got this project file because you have my 
Photoshop tutorial thing, then you can practice all of these things with this. So let's hit OK. And then let's select the texture layer and let's add a mask to that. There we go, and we've masked it out. Now it's not perfect, but it will do. And now let's go through and we can flick through and see how these work. And now you can start seeing how using a mixture of layer masks and blend modes, I mean, that looks cool. It looks really awesome and I didn't really do anything. Pull the opacity down on this and that's a pretty good add additive to that image. And it's, you see, you've kept all the tones of everything behind. I still think probably going to overlay. Okay, it looks really nice, you know? Sorry, overlay. Looks really, really great. You see, I've added that texture to the background there. And I can go through here, linear light. The ones that I usually use, just so that you know, are going to be multiply and darken. It's going to be screen and lighten. So the top two of each of those. Overlay, I use quite a lot. Soft light is just a softer version of that. And then I'll use linear light from time to time as well. That's a really hard version of that. So I don't particularly like it for this image. So you can see they are what the, blend, the layer blend modes do. Now, let me just give you one more thing here as a tip. If you were to have, say, another layer, and that's going to have a completely different blend mode. You see, I can now layer these on top of each other and they'll keep on working through all of the layers. It's quite amazing. But at some point, you may create a group. Now, if you create a group, you've got some different options here. Automatically, it's going to jump to this other one called pass-through. It only appears for groups, and this is what this means. That means everything in the group gets to keep. So this is screen, and this is linear light. They get to stay with what they are. Now, if you don't have this on pass-through and you choose, for example, screen, what that does, regardless of what the other two were on, it's now converted them all to screen. So, my advice is if you put something in a group, create pass-through, and that's going to allow all of the different blend modes to keep what they're doing. So, let's hide that layer and let me show you something else that you can do. You can actually layer different images on top of this to create really cool effects. But let me show you the power of this. You can actually use it with any layer at all. So a text layer. Let's call, let's do, um, let's write the word style, but over two different lines because that's stylish. <laughs> and what we're going to do is let's come over here. I have a whole tutorial on the text thing. So let's, let's choose one of these. I don't know what we'll choose. Let's just go for oh, Helvet. I don't want to choose Helvetica. That's the most basic one ever. Oh, let's do Lato Black, whatever that is. So we're going to do that. We're going to go thin. In fact, we're not. We're going to go the opposite. We're going to go black italic. We're going to go bold. We're going to make this really big. So what we have here is we're just going to make this really big. There we go. So what I've got here is some text, and it's got a color to it. And watch what happens here. I can actually go through now and I can change the blend mode, shift plus and minus. And as I go through, you can see it's having all sorts of different effects on this, which is really quite amazing. So again, if I come down here, I don't know, we're at soft light here. And if I was to zoom in on this, you can see that that's allowing the texture to, sh to show through there. It's the same with multiply. The texture is still going to sh show through there. So you can see that now I've created this really amazing kind of text, which looks like it's on the wall. Not entirely. I'd have to do lots of other things. In fact, let's do something to this. Double click to open our layer styles. Okay, let's add a little drop shadow to this. It's not, it's not the most amazing thing ever. But now we can add on that and now watch what happens. We can still go through all of these things, but the drop sh shadow, okay, that stays. No matter what layer style I go for, the drop shadow is going to stay, so it's going to keep that effect. So that looks pretty cool, actually. I've got the word style written, and it kind of looks like it's part of the wall. So you can see you can do loads of things within these layer styles. So remember this. You can create a group. You can add textures. You can add all sorts of different things. In fact, let me just grab another image here. And I'm going to drop this one in here. It's another one of the same girl. Um, 
let's just make that. This isn't going to look anything very good, but I'm going to use this as an example. Okay, so we're going to fill this like so. We're going to move it down, for example, like this. And now watch what I can do is I can change my layer style of this, shift and plus and minus. I can go through and you can see how these layer styles are now working with each other and against each other to create some really interesting, let's say, effects. But for different scenarios with different images, you could create something really, really special. So that there is how blend modes work inside Photoshop. The most important thing here, give it a go. Get in, flick through, have a look how each one works, the lighten, the darken, the multiply, the, uh, each of those different things. Try and look at them as sections, the darker ones, the lighter ones, and then the overlay ones, which is both highlights and shadows. Anyway, if you like this tutorial, please give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because I've got loads more tutorials coming. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tunes.